Welcome back to the Man Cave. I am your host, Black Irish. Good to see all you guys again. Like, share, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. Good to see you on TikTok, Instagram, Rumble, and here at the beautiful YouTube. Let's get some videos going. So a lot of these women are out here having babies. The hell's this floating head guy? By these dudes that still laying on their mama couch. Pookie, is that you? Or they stay with five of their homeboys, and then you had a baby, and then you get mad because they can't f***ing provide. So now you're like, oh, I'm not trusting these. No, honey, you can't trust what you picked. Oh. That's the thing. Pretty much. You do a pretty bad job picking men. Like, how do you end up with a pookie? It's not like he's, it's difficult to figure out what pookie. You're attracted to a pookie. You should know what a pookie's going to do to you. But they always keep going after the same type of dudes. And then complain that the same type of dudes do the same thing to them over and over again. Pookie's going to cheat. Pookie is going to do what Pookie does. He's going to knock you up without a rubber. I know it. You know it. We all know it. But, you know, it is what it is. I say you can see this as a learning experience. Oh, no, you want to learn this because you've seen this over and over again. You're just going to keep doing it over and over again and complain that, oh, I don't understand why these men keep doing this to me. Well, they keep doing it to you because you just keep choosing horrible men. Cookies. Let me tell you something. So I How about you don't just say you did? I used to think that I was doing myself a service. A whole ass like service by saying I don't date men with money. Uh so you're an escort? Who who talks like that? I don't do it. I don't date men with money because men with money tend to be um entitled or they think that because they have money, they wear the pants in the relationship. and They kind of do. If they have the most money and they're providing all that money for you, yeah, they kind of do. Hate to break it to you. They can cheat and do whatever they want and get away. Yeah, they actually can because they can afford to and they have the pick of the litter with so many other women. Sorry. Right? Or they can buy their way out of trouble or buy their way into your pants. Well, that's why you were dating them, right? Come on, let's stop pretending that you weren't dating those guys because you didn't, because the money wasn't wowing you. The style wasn't wowing you. The fancy clothes and the car, they wasn't wowing you. No, you knew exactly what you got yourself into. You know what it is? You just couldn't accept reality. You know, it's funny how you can talk about all oh, they, they feel like they run all this. You know, you don't you don't ever see women having a problem when they can, when, <clears throat> let me rephrase that, but when the pretty ones can get into the club for free, when the pretty ones can basically get on a cruise ship with some stranger and just go wherever they want across the world. They never seem to mind when they can go to they can go to jail for less time than a man for the same crime. They never seem to mind when uh, they get when the court said the best thing for children is the mother. I haven't you know I don't know why so many men haven't just started saying ident self identify as a woman so they can actually have an actual court case between the two parents. That's what I would do. No shame in my game. But you know, of course, it's only when men do it so when you got a problem. So I always said I avoided men with money for this reason, but... I'm sure that's going to be a really smart idea. Oh my god. Oh my god. Would I much rather date a man with money that will still cheat or a man that's broke that I have to pay my way through our dates and essentially, the fuck am I dating for? I'm dating myself. I'm courting myself. I'm taking myself on dates. Well, there's a group of women that are getting married because nobody else wants them. And they call them, you know, them f marrying themselves. Well, here's some news you can use. Have you ever heard of the term soligamy? Yeah, it's a growing relationship trend in which people marry themselves. Here's more now from reporter Weisha Shang. In many ways, Erica Anderson was a traditional bride. <laughs> the 37-year-old from Brooklyn planned Are a formal sure ceremony that? with a white dress, flower bouquet, and walked down the aisle. Only no one was waiting for her, and that was just the way she wanted it. <laughs> How would you describe self-marriage? I would describe it as women saying yes to themselves. And what does that mean? Not a damn thing! It means that we are enough even if we're not partnered with someone else. <laughs> Sisters are doing it for themselves! It's stupid, but 
You know, that's what happens when there's nobody else and you refuse to, to take the people who you would have been good to you, but you ruined your life. And now you've got to marry yourself because those same people don't want you anymore. I'm paying for me or I'm paying for you and me and I'm still going to get cheated on anyway. Listen, he'll... <laughs> Well, 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 welcome to the world of uh, being a man. So the difference is, you know, you go and go on fruity, foodie dates to get men to pay that you don't like to pay you food, and then you get your back blown up by that same chat who cheats on you. You can, uh, what else? Um, oh, sorry, paying meals? Oh, that's what we do all the time. We get Sometimes men get nothing out of it. That's why men have just gone to the whole thing and just Netflix and chill, because they know the game already. Come on. Listen, I don't got it in me, okay? I don't got it in me. And I'm way too old to deal with these little thund young Thundercats. Now, see, now she's trying to do all these young Thundercats. But you were getting smashed up by them young Thundercats. You didn't seem to have a problem when you were getting that pipe. Now, all of a sudden, you got a problem with all these young Thundercats. Well, how about this? You're a little bit too old to be going on TikTok gloating about being cheated on. Like, I'm so good at it. I know when I'm being cheated on. That, that's not a good thing. There's something wrong with you that these men could care less about wiping you up and making you their man, and they made you a side piece. I hope you realize this. Okay, these, these young Thundercats that think that they got one up, honey, I've been... They did. They got that one up inside you, and then they said, you know what, I don't care. I already got the bag. There. I've seen it all. You hag. You're not like, oh, I asleep. Bullshit. Bullshit. Uh, you... Oh, girl, who hurt you? Oh, I know who hurt you. And you know who the poor ones that she's talking about, they have to pay for everything? Those are not the guys in the middle. They're not the lames that she was talking about. Those are your pookies and rakes. See, this is how I tell you. that Let a woman talk and they'll, they'll tell you everything. You're so stupid that you decided to go from Chad and money, and you couldn't tolerate it because he could he has the pick of the litter of whatever woman he wants, and you're old. So you do know you have to compete with the younger women because most of them are going to go after young women. And with your attitude, they knew they just make you a, 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 f a foodie date or a booty date, technically, and move on. He was just exercising his options. Then you went to the pookie, who I guarantee you, young, broke, that's a pookie. And you gave it all up to him. And he could care less because he's reckless. And it was the guys in the middle that you didn't touch. But I guarantee you, it's going to be one of those men or pigs. Did not fall asleep. You did not, your phone did not die. Save the lies for your mama who believes you. Mm -hmm. Sounds like what women do to the, those men that they don't like. Oh, my phone died. Oh, oh, my aunts for the 15th time died and all that other stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Whose birthright, she has to love you no matter what you do. I don't. Okay. I will not tolerate. Sweetheart, this isn't about love. It's about uh, getting your rocks off. And clearly they did. That's why they didn't care. Buffooneries? I am befuddled by the men who think that they can outsmart a woman's intuition when we know, well, baby, we know when you're being slimy. We know. They're oh, yeah? So why did you get cheated on so many times? But you know, right? If you know they're going to... So is this like when it happens or you can sense the guy's going to do it? I'd love for you to get back to me on that one. There has never been a man who has cheated that I wasn't on to you. I was on to you. My question is, why, why is it that you only attract cheaters? That says something about you. You attract cheaters. How stupid can you be to only attract the same type of guys over and over again? I was on to you. Okay? So therefore, in summation moral of this TikTok story, date a man with money and let him take you out on dates and let him try to buy his way into your pants because they all are dogs. They're all going to cheat and they're all scum anyway. Anyway, you're going to treat me like a prostitute. I'm going to treat you like a bank. As long as she knows she's a 304, that's all, it's all good to me. I just think it's a little bit interesting that you're complaining about this, that you're literally going on TikTok complaining about guys um cheating on you like a teenager i'm too old for this you are too old what the hell are you doing on tiktok seriously the only reason why i'm here because i like the views sitting out here i can use these via your, your videos and make money off of it 
It's ridiculous. Like, you're on here complaining and gloating that you got cheated on and you can spot the cheater after it's already done. You're like the worst version of the precox from Minority Report. You can see it after it happens. And it doesn't matter anymore. Like, they had to shut the whole thing down because it was like, yo, you're going to... Your pre courses are like kind of mentally challenged. They they can't re, re, they can't figure out or at least tell us when the crime happens. They already tell us when it happens, so they're just pretty much the news. Oh, oh lord! Nice try, sweetheart. At least you tried. There are nights I cry. My oh, this idiot! Myself to sleep. Like what just happened? You nothing at all. Nothing at all. With all the moods and the personalities and. Sometimes they're fighting and there's no she talking about herself. I mean, I know sometimes, you know, a lot of people talk with a third person, but whatever. I mean, let's take a, let's go back. Are nights I cry myself to sleep like on a bed of money. Dude. Oh. What are you doing? What just happened? You know? Yeah, uh, they're up for another season. You no, know, with all the moods and the personalities and Sometimes they're fighting and there's no one there. Like it's it's me to play good cop and bad cop. Oh, you're talking about? I thought you were talking about yourself and your split personality. So you're talking about your kids? Oh, okay, I, I got it now. So like that is definitely a challenge when you know something I'm working on is being a little bit firmer. You know, there's nothing that can prepare you. Anyone, any person that says, "Oh, we're waiting to." have X amount of money in the bank. Oh, we're waiting to have a home before we have kids. Oh, I'm waiting for this job to come in before we have kids. I don't care how long you wait. I don't care what you're waiting for. You are never prepared. You know what this is? It's the world's smallest violin. But you will figure it out. And it will make you so proud of yourself that you figured it out and that you got through the day. And sometimes it's nights where it's just we are going hour by hour to see if we're going to survive. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. God have mercy on your soul. Oh, shut the hell up. Shut up, bitch. Oh my God. You know, mind you, so she's talking about her kids, right? And the struggles of having to play good cop, bad cop. You know, the funny thing is, you wouldn't have to do that if you had just worked with the father of your children. Stop acting as if, like, this is some, oh, well, he, he died in Nam. Oh, the helicopter spun in, there was no survivors, or whatever, like, you know, in MASH. You chose to be a single mother. There's no struggle. Mind you, there's no struggle because you have an entire family and butlers and maids and probably a slave somewhere um, taking care of you. But, of course, you want to come out here like you're some victim when you purposely threw him out. And he basically said multiple times, hey, let's work this out for the kids. And you told him no, no, no. And then you went out with a lame right after that to rub it in his face. He fought to be in his kids' lives, and you basically said, no. Like, read that. You're not a victim. You're an idiot. In the comments section of, the, of that little interview that she had, all these morons supporting her. Like, she's an idiot. She's an opportunist. And all of you supporting her, you're just as stupid as she is. Why are we promoting single motherhood and then trying to wear it as a badge of honor? This is how broken the Western society is. We have a bunch of morons out here just doing dumb stuff. I'm actually going to be doing a video on this porn star about how her parents didn't um, approve of her doing porn. And the comment section... This is about two years ago. And the comments section is just disgusting. Like, oh, well, she's, a, she's courageous. She went down on some total stranger with a 12-inch you-know-what. How's that courageous? 
I don't want a daughter. I don't want a daughter. I just want sons. I, and it's not because I don't want daughters. I would love to have a daughter, but not in this generation. This generation is going to ruin our women, our daughters who are going to become women. It's going to ruin the daughters who turn into women and make everything think as if it's okay. And it's horrendous that we're doing this. And the fact that we're not up against this and we're not trying to stop this is deplorable. For all the people that think that I, I oh, you hate women. No. I hate what women have become. And it's sad that no one sees that because all you see, oh, you must hate women. You must hate your mama. Your mama black. Or all this stupid thing that comes out of people's mouths. Dumb people say this. Y'all need to stop this crap. Or we're all going to go straight to you know what. What is it? H-E double hockey stick, as my friend would say. Churchgoer. Anyway. I'm gonna get, well, I'll be playing that video shortly one day. I'll see if I can figure find out where that is. Something read. I can't remember her name. Anyway, that was a, this is it for today. This is the Man Cave. Signing off.